Hi, in this video we're going to talk about yet another Windows tweaking app. Uh, this one's called Quick Boost. So we've done several videos on the various tweaking apps you can find online. Some of them are for Windows 10, some for Windows 11, some are for both. Uh, this one should work for both. So once you download, it's just an executable, nothing to install, then you just run it. Now it's going to give you a warning saying to make a system restore point just in case something breaks. So obviously this is something you use at your own risk, just like anything else that you find online. So say OK. So now we have our sections here. Uh, one thing is kind of weird. If you expand the uh, sections here, it kind of cuts off some of the things here and you can't make it full screen. It doesn't really help. So you just have to go back and forth. So we have general, advanced, cleanup, download, and windows. OK. So under general, you just have some uh, basic options here if you want to uh, do things like disable mass acceleration, power saving, import a quick boost plan, you know, some of these stuff you might not know what it is or you'll never use. Um, disable unnecessary system services, that's something you might want to think about before you do because you don't know what it's going to actually do. Remove some pre-installed apps, probably the Windows uh, Store apps, or apply everything. If you want to disable startup programs manually, it'll open up your uh, task manager here, and then you could kind of go through and do that. All right, then the next section here, which is advanced, is memory tweaks. Some of these things, it's just going to do it. So if you click on memory tweaks, it's not going to say what it's going to do. It's just going to do it. So just be aware of that. Probably, probably everything in this category here is just going to do without telling you what it's doing. So just you know, check it out before you do it. Then the cleanup, you want to clean temporary files, and remove system temporary files in the temp directory. And if you want to just run the old Windows clean cleanup tool here, just like that, which is not super helpful. There's other better ways to do it. And clean all temporary files, which runs everything mentioned above here. Then we have the download section here. So if you want to install some of these apps here, like let's say you want 7-zip, so rather than having to go out to the internet and find it, you could do this. It'll run a little PowerShell script here. Let's say yes to this. All right, so now let's see if we got it installed here. Right there, 7-zip, new app, just like so. And then stuff like this NVIDIA, you know, probably not gonna apply unless you have an NVIDIA uh, video card. And then finally we have the uh, window settings here, you know, typical options for File Explorer, show hidden folders, show file extensions, hide file extensions. And then this is kind of cool too. So right now we have the Windows 11 new style uh, right click menu we could do this so when it does that it's going to restart uh, Windows Explorer and lots of times it kills your background when you do so so now when we right click we have the Windows 10 style uh, this will not work anymore this used to work for Windows 11 to change the taskbar size so this is not going to work for you so don't even bother and then if you want to show some of the default icons here in the taskbar you could do that Enable notifications or disable them, and same with clipboard history and transparency effects. So, you know, it's not a whole lot here, but it's something you, you can check out if you want to find a bunch of tools in one place and see how useful they are for you. So I will put a link in the description where you could download it, and then you could try it out for yourself. Just make sure to do a system restore just in case. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.